My name is Marco Hanna from PhoneDog.com, and this is the Weekly Bone. This week we're talking about the rumored HTC One Mini, more iOS 7 rumors, the Nokia Lumia 521, and Apple and Sony striking a music deal for their iRadio service. So let's get started. The number one smartphone in our smartphone rankings looks like it's getting a little brother. The HTC One is actually going to receive the HTC One Mini, rumored the HTC M4. There's some new images that are posted online showing the HTC One next to the HTC One Mini, and we can see some size differences indeed. The HTC One Mini has a 4.3 inch 720p display, apart from the 4.7 inch 1080p display on the HTC One. The specs are also expected to decrease, but not by much. We're still expecting 2 gigabytes of RAM, Android 4.2.2, and the newest version of HTC Sense. Other reports are saying the HTC One Mini is expected to be announced sometime in August for a price tag of around 450 euros. No real US details, no real US announcements, no real announcements of the HTC One Mini or the HTC M4. That's the code name for this new device. Some new things have come out from Cupertino before the event even started. At the Moscone Center, where WWDC will be taking place, have come up some banners with the number 7. It's a banner, it's a white banner with a purple and blue number 7 on it, which means iOS 7. The banner basically confirms the flat design of iOS 7. We're expecting to see a more flat appearance of iOS. All the applications will sort of lose their shine and gloss and become more flat and very uh, eye-friendly. So think about the Windows Phone experience, think about how flat that is, and also some major application changes to Mac apps, to notes, to email, to sort of make it all uniform and unified so it looks like the same company have actually made the applications. We expect to see a debut of iOS 7 on Monday's keynote, 10 a.m. Pacific time. Make sure to stay tuned to PhoneDog.com or if it already happened, then make sure to go watch all the content from WWDC. Nokia's not-so-high-end Windows Phone 8 device might be Aaron's most favorite Windows Phone device ever. The Nokia 521. It's not exactly what you would expect on PhoneDog.com. We mostly cover high-end smartphones, some mid-range smartphones, and a couple of low-range smartphones. This one is sort of to the low to mid-tire range of phones. It has a 4-inch display. It has a normal display, not HD. It has a little 1 gigahertz dual-core processor, but it runs the newest version of Windows Phone 8, and it has all the great applications. This little smartphone is a very, very great phone. It's actually only $150 off contract on T-Mobile's network. It's fast, it's sprightly, it doesn't lag, it has all the great new applications, and it's super, super friendly and easy to get and learn Windows Phone 8. The only problem we see on the surface is the lack of 4G LTE support. It is a T-Mobile device, so LTE cities are still very limited, but as that rollout continues, that device will not be able to tap into the LTE support. But for a device that's fast, it's very easy to use, the learning curve is very small, it's a very, very good deal indeed. Lastly, the much-rumored Apple radio service is actually going to come to a close, we hope. We are hoping to hear about Apple's new streaming music service at the WWDC conference. And again, if you're watching this after WWDC, my apologies for talking about this again. But we are expecting to see the iRadio service being announced. Uh, last week, we actually heard about a deal from Sony and Apple that they actually found a little middle ground. So basically, they have approved Sony albums and Sony Music to come onto Apple's iStreaming service. Sony's basically the last publisher that they needed to be signed on, and with them being signed on, they can go ahead with launching the music service. We're pretty sure the service is already built, we just need the publishers and the music to come onto the service. Well, that's all the time I have for this week's episode of The Weekly Bone. My name is Mark O'Hanna. You can follow me on Twitter at GE Mark O'Hanna. Make sure to stay tuned to PhoneDog.com for all the WWDC content and all the latest and greatest in PhoneDog news. Again, my name is Mark O'Hanna, and I will see you guys in the next video.